much better. Yeah. Heck yeah. A good day. How's everybody been? I hope you guys are all having a good day, having a good week. Um, it's been a minute since I've posted anything. Reason being is just because I really had nothing to post. But nonetheless, I'm back. Um, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you guys would know what's uh, what updates are to come to the channel and to the truck. Um, real quick, today is the day we're changing out the wheel bearings on the front side. We're going to do wheel bearings along with U-joints. Um, I'm going to go to the parts store right now, buy, pick up some U-joints. Uh, I already got the wheel bearings. I ordered them online off eBay. I was waiting for them to come here. Uh, I already checked them out. They look good. So I'm not worried about those, but we got to go Harbor Freight because I got to get um, some jack stands and a uh, heavy duty jack. Get those and then uh, I'm going to pick up a wheel bearing puller from the parts store. I'm going to rent one just because I don't need one permanently just in case my wheel bearings are stuck on because they were last time I took them off. So I'm assuming they're going to be again, especially after the winter or during this winter weather. Um, but that's really it though. Uh, real quick, before I continue any further on, I want to thank everybody who's checked out the channel, who's subscribed to the channel, who's watching the content, who's uh, messaging me. People on Instagram, same thing goes out to all of you guys. Thank you so much for checking out the channel, checking out the page, supporting me. Uh, I'm getting, I mean, it's, it's awesome, man. I'm getting messages from all sorts of people asking me questions or just saying, hey, man, nice video. Thank you for your service. All, you know, all that stuff. Thank you guys so much. Everybody who's been doing that and liking the videos and commenting and all that I really appreciate it uh, it means so much to me um, it seems like every day I'm getting like one or two new subscribers and I welcome you guys uh, if you're a new subscriber check out all my previous videos so you can be caught up to date and you'll be on on the same page with everybody else um, thank you for checking out the channel I appreciate it also so nonetheless um, you guys are awesome you guys are badass I really appreciate it this is definitely the type of involvement I wanted to get out of the channel um, especially with the people who comment not not saying they're better than anybody else but the ones who tell me like hey you know I like the, I like your videos you know because you know they tell me why because that tells me if I'm putting the content out right if I'm doing a good job or if I'm the content the way I'm portraying the content out if it's if the message is getting across you know what I'm saying so nonetheless I appreciate all of you guys everybody who's been engaged in just checking out the channel Thank you so much. Um, people always tell me they're telling their buddies and stuff, hey, check out this channel, check out this channel, and stuff. And hey, I'm grateful. I appreciate you. All right. So, nonetheless, I'm going to run up the street, uh, going to stop at the uh, Advanced Auto Parts, and then I'm going to stop at Harbor Freight, get back, and then we're going to start this off. All right. Alright you guys, so I went ahead, that's a cold start, I got her warming up right now, I turned on the high idle, uh, but yes, like I said, I will be back, I got to go pick up those things, we get back, and we're getting this started, okay, so I'll see y'all in a second. Okay guys, I am back. I went ahead and uh, picked up this stuff. I picked up a jack from Harbor Freight. 
and then I picked up uh, some jack stands, six ton. Uh, these were 44. The jack was 87 plus tax. And then over here, I picked up a dead blow hammer because I need one. I don't have one. Then I picked up. Uh, I rented. Sorry, I rented an axle nut set and a jaw puller. Uh, this is not what you usually would use to take off a wheel bearing, but if you can't get a hold of a wheel bearing puller, you can also use a jaw puller. Um, I'll show you guys how how to use it. It's, it's the same concept, but yeah, you can go ahead and use either or. And then this was only five bucks, so I can I can't turn it. I never go to Harbor Freight and buy only one thing that I need and leave. Like I always find some something like under ten dollars. I end up buying. Uh, this is just a blanket, so that way it says mover blanket, but uh, really I use this for. I'm going to use it for sitting on the ground so I'm not getting so dirty. And then I picked up uh, some more cotter pins because you're going to need those when you replace the, when you put the axle nut back on. And I picked up some dykes because I don't know what happened to mine. They got lost somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and get the jack set up because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to put the wheels on it if it's not already pre-assembled. Get the jack set up, get this bad boy onto some jack stands, and then, uh, yeah, I'm go from there, all right? So I'll get back to you guys first. Hey, real quick, guys. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know if you guys shop at Harbor Freight often, uh, download their app. They have a, it's a, or I don't know if it's their app, but there's a Harbor Freight coupon app. Um, this is an Android, so I know uh, you can find it on the Google Play Store. I'm not sure about iPhones, but it's an awesome app. Um, pretty much, you go on here, you can get all the coupons you would usually get in the flyers. I'm trying to get good lighting on it. My God. There we go. All of the good uh, coupon, all the coupons you would get in the ads and stuff, you can get it on this app at any time. Um, it tells you all the sales and stuff. It's really good. I use it all the time when I go to Harbor Freight, you know, just to get 20%. You know, this is a 20% off one item coupon. Uh, I use it on the. guys I just wanted to sh I got the wheel bearing out uh, after a dilemma of a bunch of stuff uh, finally I just want to give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison uh, yeah this is it oh straps in the way yeah but uh this is it I can tell this one was getting old because when you spin it it's hard to hear you can hear the bearings in there now you can hear them in here, but they don't sound as loud and they sound smoother. And I didn't know it came with a new, uh, what is this, uh, ABS sensor or whatever. I didn't know it came with that, so that's pretty cool. So I have the axle out. I'm going to go ahead and start prepping it to get the U-joints out and stuff because that's going to suck. All right, so I just wanted to get you guys updated and caught up to speed. Okay, everybody. So it's... It's, you know the sun's setting now so it's about days over uh, pretty much long story short this is gonna be a two-day project um, tomorrow is the day I'm gonna finish it so pretty much all I got done was this all right I got the, the hub off the axle off um, yeah everything's off for the driver's side all right so the next thing to do would be over here on the axle to take out this u-joint swap it out put the new one in problem is is that I don't you can beat them out with a hammer but these have been in for Lord knows how long um, I'm not gonna beat them out because I started to do this one it buzzed just a little bit but I would be beating it for probably 20 minutes per cap and it's four caps so do the math um, and it's this is only one axle I still got another one to do so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the other side um, take I'm gonna take everything off just like this get the axle out and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna take it to a shop and I'm going to press them out myself with a pneumatic press. Um, I watched a video on YouTube 
the dude did it and it took it people had him out in like not even five minutes so I know a place where I can go to be able to do that so I'm gonna take care of that tomorrow uh, I'm gonna clean this mess up because it looks horrible out here oh I didn't, I didn't even tell you guys I ended up getting a air compressor so I ended up getting a compressor uh, I bought the earthquake from Harbor Freight I bought the earthquake uh, impact gun it works it works good it gets the job done uh, what else um, I bought one of those and well yeah, actually that's that's it really that's all I can think of but yeah I still have <laughs> I still have the wheel bearings sitting next to each other from when I showed y'all earlier um, it's crazy though real quick a tip if I was you guys even though your wheel bearings bad I would save it or if anything the least knock out your studs here you can knock these out um reason being is if anything ever happens on a new one let's say you sh and it happens with mine because of the type of lugs I have when I take them to like you know a auto shop to get like the tires balanced or rotated or whatever they'll strip them out because they're fine threads on the the threads are soft on the lug nuts so keep these uh, knock them out keep a couple of them that way if you ever need to use them you have some spares because a lot of times you know you gotta buy a new one or you strip one out you just knock them out swap it out and you're good so that's a little tip for you to remember um, another thing too is it was really easy getting this out a lot of times it's not um, it wasn't the first time I took this off. This was this is like the second time or third time I've taken this off. Uh, first time was a nightmare. I had to use jaw pullers to pull it off. Why it wasn't that bad this time? Because I used anti seize. Uh, I coated right around here with anti seize, and I mean it worked good. Obviously, all it you know there's no corrosion and stuff like that, so it came out real good. I'm gonna do the same thing to the new one. Uh, get that all coated up real nice and pretty looking. I can tell right now this one looks like it's made out of. The old one looks like it's made out of like I don't know iron or like something hard, and this one looks like it's made out of uh, I don't know maybe it's just the way it looks or like aluminum or something I don't know <laughs> or a billet or something like that. But yeah, Ugh. all right, guys, this is it. So that's going to do it for today's video. Um, once again, I said it in my last video when it was a two-part video for the Air Dog, but I'm not a huge fan of it, but I'm really not a huge fan of part two videos. I feel like it's uh, it takes a long time to get what you're trying to get to the viewers, you guys, out, out there. So uh, it is what it is, though. It's not going to be uh, a big deal. It's just I had, I had a real hard time getting off a lot of the stuck bolts and whatnot um from last time i did it where i can just use a wrench and you know tap on it it came right off to now uh it was pretty much seized up on there so i'm gonna be putting any seeds on all those bolts and whatnot um yeah but that's really it though so once again thank you guys so much for watching uh if you got any tips or comments or advice or anything please feel free to drop it down below um i'm open to all comments and you know suggestions and whatnot constructive obviously um but you yeah, definitely i appreciate all you guys watching um i know i said it at the beginning of this video but all of the new viewers and subscribers and people who've been checking out the channel and the instagram everybody on instagram too because i know everybody on instagram doesn't watch the youtube channel but still i'm gonna put it out there thank you so much for checking out the channel it really means a lot to me um i just like seeing it grow seeing it grow it makes me feel good it makes me know that what i'm doing is right and i'm doing it you know good job so i really appreciate it um but yeah, that's it really. So until next time, you guys take care. Peace out. Be safe. God bless. Brian Little. <laughs>